Welcome back to the Star Wars show live at Star Wars Celebration Europe 2016 on StarWars.com and I'm here with Oliver Steeples and Lee Towersy from Hello. the R2 Builders Hello. Club. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's nice to be here. It's always nice to be on StarWars.com. How long has the R2 Builders Club been around? Um, so the R2 Builders Club was founded in about 2002 by um, Dave Everett in Australia um, and now so many years later, we've got about 15,000 members worldwide, about 2,000 droids, and it's incredible to be part of a club. Wow, we get 2,000 R2s out there. Uh, not necessarily R2s, but oh, 2,000 okay. just Astromex. So it's not necessarily R2s in the R2 Builders Club. You've got a variety there? Um, when someone obviously joins the R2 Builders, R2 is such an iconic character, mm -hmm. so everyone wants to build R2 as a first droid. And so, say 50, 60, probably more actually, are yeah, actually R2s. Most builders go on to build more than one droid as well, so usually they do R2 first. It's a bit of a habit. Different, yeah, yeah, different color after that, yeah. What's the most difficult part of putting together an R2? Well, it's putting, getting the parts actually assembled together, really. Mm. The, the R2 Builders Club, you can get the parts from, from the club, astromech.net, they do part runs. Um, and really the hardest bit is finding time to do it. Um, you know, you, you can collect the parts to the website, but it does take a lot of time up to, to build an R2. Was so there anything, that's, that's quite hard. Yeah, was there anything surprising uh, in the process of putting your droids together that you came across? I think one of the benefits of a club is people might not be skilled in everything. So some people are skilled in woodwork and so building a wood frame comes naturally to them but they might not be good at electronics, but there'll be someone down the road, next state or county, because um, we are a worldwide club, and they can always help you do like the electronics, someone else can help you do the mechanics. Um, so you don't have to do it all on yourself. So there's a lot of problem solving that you can do with sort of your builders community that you have. Exactly. Yeah, they're a help helpful bunch of people. Yeah, they all help each other out. So everybody's their own tech support, kind of. Yeah, free tech yeah. support. <laughs> so how long does it typically put, take to put together something like this? So my uh, uh, original R2 I finished in 2007 for Celebration Europe it took me uh, about five years to make because of the parts availability. Um, and my recent R5 took me about a year. My, yeah, my one took about two years. I started mine as Oliver finished his. I started mine about 2007, um, finished in 2009. Uh, so yeah, two, two years it took me to build mine in my spare time. You were mentioning parts, and is there a lot of custom fabrication that has to go on in the building process too, or are those part runs that you're talking about, does that help out with well, that Well, there's different ways you can build, you can build R2. You, there's so many different materials you can use. You can have like the Uber R2, which is all aluminium. So there's laser cut components and so on that the, the group members supply. Or you can hand cut a lot of parts yourself, whether it be out of wood or plastic. Um, so you, you can use, it depends how much you want to do, whether you want to build it yourself by hand cutting things or buying ready formed parts from within the club, like aluminium. So if people are interested in making their own droid, how do they get in touch with the Builders Club? Um, you walk about 10 foot or 20, 100 foot over there and come and see us, <laughs> um, or go to astromech.net, which is the worldwide club, and you'll be able to join, you'll be able to download plans, find parts suppliers, find local builders is our main first step. That's and so great. Do lots of research. That's so fantastic that you're, that you're such a support for the fans out there who are interested in construction. Indeed, yeah. Thank you so much for being on the show, Lee and Oliver. It's good to no meet problem. you. All no right, problem. and stick around. There's so much more here on the Star Wars Show Live from Star Wars Celebration Europe, and it's coming up in just a minute on StarWars.com.